and then damage and loss control. Breaches and losses, like I said, are, are, are really impossible to completely eliminate. Okay, we've talked about that. But what we need to do as security professionals is to mitigate through technical controls such as encryption. All right, so data at rest or in transit. We need to make sure that if a laptop is compromised or is stolen, that we have the ability to either uh, remotely wipe whether it's, again, a laptop or smartphone, et cetera, et cetera. We need to be able to remotely wipe those devices, locate those devices if, if necessary, again, remotely. So if, if a person turns that back on, as soon as it connects to the Internet, it should be phoning home and letting us know where it's at. That gives us, that's, that's a big piece of the puzzle, I should say, to protecting the data. So that way, even if someone is sniffing the network, they have some type of wire sniffer in place, they're not going to be able to, uh, to very easily, I should say, get access to our data. Again, nothing is 100% reliable, uh, but if a laptop, for instance, is stolen, someone's at a coffee shop or someone breaks into someone's car, takes that laptop, if the data is encrypted, very little chance that they're going to be able to break that encryption and get access to that data. And if so, as soon as that laptop gets turned on, if it phones home, we have the ability to remotely wipe. Again, we are mitigating risk for massive, massive losses. And then we need to triage incidents properly. All right. And so in other words, we don't need to overreact and cause greater harm than the threat itself. So we don't want to basically use the shotgun approach to kill a fly type of thing instead of a fly swatter. We want to make sure that we put things in, in place and processes in place that are appropriate for the situation, appropriate for the threat, but don't overburden and, and create so much of an issue that it actually goes reversed. Because as you know, if things become so secure and so burdensome, all right, in other words, as an example, if we make everyone put in a 20 character password, well, most people are, are not going to remember 20 characters, right? So instead of keeping it really secure, what do they do? They write it on a sticky note and put it on their, their monitor or they stick it under their keyboard. All right, so we actually make our systems less secure by, by overreacting and over-engineering these controls. So we want to make sure that they're appropriate uh, for, for, this, for the situations and appropriate for the threats that we may encounter.